Hey guys, Bro Disney Studios here. Today with a review on the 8089 Hoth Wampa Cave. It has 297 pieces with an age recommendation of 7 to 12. Uh, we will start with the figures here. We have Luke Skywalker Hoth. Just Luke Skywalker on the box. He has the lightsaber with the shiny um, hilt. Not like the ultra shiny ones like you get in the new sets, just the newer shiny one. You also get the new um, Hoth Trooper helmet with the um, it's got you know the visor that comes off and then here it is without it and then you can also put it right there um, this Luke has the same face as he does in the um, Luke's Landspeeder set and he also has a new torso, which looks very awesome indeed. It even has back printing. So, and uh, he's got gray legs. Um, next we have Zeb Sineska. Some, yeah, something along those lines. He's just the regular Rebel pilot you get in the Rebel Trooper battle pack. Hoth Rebel Trooper, I guess. Um, the new pilot torso with the helmet and orange visor and chin strap. Um, technically this, well, yeah, it is still a minifigure, but you get a skeleton. We've all seen skeletons before. He's got a smiley face and arms that move like that. You know, back and forth. And back and forth. It's just like a Lego minifigure. Um, next is the ultimate thing, which is the why this set even, ex why this set even exists. It is the Wampa. As you can see, he has a chicken leg. Turkey leg, chicken leg, something, like, something along those lines. Um, he has horns, so you can move them kind of up and down a little. Uh, yellow nose, black eyes, and his mouth is kind of open. His arms are also attached with um, blue Technic pieces. And this is definitely an improvement from the old Wampa. I, I've seen the old Wampa. He, this is definitely an improvement. I really like this guy. And the interesting thing about his arms, um, not this arm, but here, let me set my camera down. Here. Yeah, he can he can hold on to people and throw them into walls or whatever, whatever you want to do with them. Yeah. So the Wampa is awesome. Okay. Um. Now here is the Wampa's cave. So. Um. You would put Luke's um lightsaber right here. Right there. And then there's like bones right here, like I guess the ribs of a tauntaun or something. I, I don't know. You be whatever you want it to be. It could be a grill for all we know. Um, yeah. So you'd put looks like saber right there, and take your Luke. You can see there's those two little studs right there, and you can just hang him right there. So that's Luke hanging in the cave with his lightsaber, and then. Um, you do make sure the lightsaber is in all the way, and then you push down on this. Hang on. This is kind of a difficult feature. But yeah, it does, it does kind of shoot out of there. Not really. It's supposed to be like a catapult thing or whatever for his lightsaber, so you like catch it and cut off, off his arm like in the movie. But, yeah, that's the cave. There's a little hook right there, so you can... Put the skeleton there. Yeah. And the Wampa will be over here having his little tea party. With some chicken leg and Luke will get his lightsaber, cut himself down and cut off the cut off the Wampa's arm and run away. But <coughs> excuse me, um 
There's the outside. The outside of the cave, so, you know, Luke be hanging things. And then Luke would run out like a little mess. Um, okay, here's the snow speeder. This is like the fifth remake or something like that. Um, so the cockpit can open two ways. It can open like this. Well, three ways. Like, so like that. That. And then just like this with the whole thing going up. So here's the inside. There's an ATAT -AT on the view screen right there. And you would seat your rebel pilot in here. And he would go looking for Luke. Luke and Han and Han and Luke. Yeah. yeah, that does come off pretty easy. It's held on there by two hinge pieces. Here's the bottom. In case you're wondering. Um it's got the two huge guns and these little flaps right here. They would be like turning flaps. So you know he's going to turn right or turn left or something, or well, one of these flaps is going to go up and he's going to turn, but, you know, that kind of thing. Here's the engines, the closer to the thingies, and the, um, tow cable. It, it, this is cool. It has, like, a little hook on it right here, and you can unravel it. Unravel, 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 unravel. Uh, I think that's unraveled enough. It's not unraveled all the way, but you can grab the wampa and pull them away or something. Whatever you want to do. So, um, thanks for watching this review on the 8089 Hoth Wampa Cave. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And see you guys later.